Hey, 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 better late than never. It is August 8th, 2023. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Back again. Back to the grind. It's great to be here with you all. Thank you all so very much for joining me today. Hope you all had a great night. Today, guys, we're looking into the Long Island serial killer. More developments, new developments. Looks like they found another one, folks. So very sad. Let's talk about it and more. See you guys there. Let's get this show on the road. What's up, what's up, what's up? How are we doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day today. Like I said, better late than never. Sorry, I'm a little late, folks. There was a bit of a technical issue. But we are here. Thanks to all of the amazing people in this community. And we're talking about the Long Island serial killer. It is Lisk Tuesday, as Danger Zone put it. Great to be here with you guys. I missed you guys. I hope you had a great show last night or a great night last night. Uh, it was a great show over at CJ's, by the way. Absolutely enjoyed myself completely, as I always do with all of you that were there. And I thank you for that. I appreciate the fact that you guys support him like you do, just like you do me. I love it because that's who you guys are. And that's what I love about you all so very much. Thank you for being who you are once again, as I will tell you every day. So I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you had a great night. And I hope you're all ready to jump into this with me. Share this out, if you will, please, to whoever you think wants to hear my big mouth talking about it. And please, 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 I'll leave a little DNA on that like button for me, please. We got 42 people in here with 15 likes. What is wrong with that? We will never get out into that algorithm that way, guys. Let's make a match. Let's see who we have here gracing us with their presence today. Looks like Mr. Brian Hoffman's in the house. What is up, Brian guy? Good to see you, brother. Thank you for joining us today. Kelly Mack, welcome back. Good to see you. Chick Antiques in the house, everyone. Thank you for being here, Chick. Great to have you. Miss Natalie B., thank you for joining us tonight. Today, sorry, today. Great to have you here. Skittles, true crime, taste the rainbow. Love it, love it. Thank you for being here. Sarah Sweetness, great to see you. Great to have you here. Uh, 
uh evil cj my brother good to see you thanks for the support thank you for joining us i hope you're not working too hard brother hope to see you later miss deborah thompson thompson thank you for joining us today i appreciate you and there's my cami q good to see you dear thanks for joining us today kells is in the house good to see you Buongiorno and ti amo, Bella, Miss Cindy Ann. Thank you for joining us today, all the way from Rome, Italy. Great to have you here, darling. Thank you for joining us. Striker Force for you. Great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Missy Moo, thank you for joining us. That's a new name. Great to see you. Carol freaking Claus, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Bee Boop, welcome. Good to see you. What is up, Brother Red? Good to see you. Danger Zone's in the house. Welcome back, Danger Zone. T2014, glad to have you here. The lovely Miss Sherry, Wisdom Speaks, is in the house. Welcome, good to have you. Dakota Parker, welcome back. Looks like we got a lot of meatballs in here, guys. Joining me today to spill a little bit of that sauce, and you're going to help me do it. Dia, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Kelly Miller, welcome back, darling. Good to have you here. Dre, great to see you. Michael, 007, welcome back, my friend. Good to see you. Did I miss anybody? I hope not. Bongo, the twerking money dog. I love it, love it, love it. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. No worries, no worries, no worries. I think I got everybody so far. So come on in, guys. Grab your coffee, tea, whatever it may be. Come on in here. Sit down and have a conversation with me, please. If you will, I appreciate it. Donna Melton, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us today. From Columbia River Gorge in Oregon. We love to have you here, Miss Donna. We love to have you here. Bry Guy, what is going on, my friend? Great time last night, brother. So glad to have you hanging out with us. I love it. I absolutely love it, Brian. All right, let me check this here. Danger Zone. What is going on, brother? Good to see you. No, it was no mess. It was wonderful. We had a blast. We love you, Brian. You got to get that through your head. We love you to death. Just a learning experience. That's all it is, Brian. It's a learning experience. We all have to learn. I had to learn. CJ had to learn. We all got to learn. And as we learn, we do it together. Because that's what it's all about, bro. We're a family in here. That's exactly how I look at it. And that's for all of you. They must have something in the air with cops. I don't know. Thank you, Ms. Cammy Q. I appreciate that. Once again, folks, this channel is 100% crowdfunded. That means that I am not here without you. It means that anyone that donates to this channel in that circumstance right there through the PayPal, Venmo, or the Cash App helps to support this channel come out to you guys every single day. It pays for the internet, the stream yard, and all the equipment that is breaking down on me slowly but surely. And I appreciate anyone that does do that. So thank you so very much for that, Ms. Cammy Q. Uh, I see somebody else's name. Chicklet, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate you. Come on in, come on in. Leslie Ann, great to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning to you all. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is. Good night. It might be that too. Who knows? Depends on where you're at. I hope it's good for you because it's good for me to be here with you. So I appreciate you so very much for that. So, so very much. Let me see something here. Come on in here. Welcome, Leslie Ann. Good to see you. Donna Melton. Dia saying hi to everybody. Let's smash those likes. That's right, Chick. Thank you so very much. Danger alert. Danger alert. Beep, beep, beep. Uh-oh. It is great to be here. Andy Kane, great to see you. Straight from the liberal state of Maine. I love it. I've always wanted to go there, and I will one of these days. Hello from North Dakota to you, Nodak Angel. Good to see you. That's right, Donna. We do. We love Brian. He is so funny, and he's such a nice guy. We absolutely love you to death, Brian. You got to know that. What you say here? It's like, dude, you ought to be capable to not using those words. You ought to know these guys. No, I strongly believe 
I understand, buddy. You're getting there. It takes some time, but you're getting there. You'll be all right. No worries. We will make sure because we want to keep you around, brother. We do. We want to keep you around. We enjoy your company. We like who you are. And I think you're a very important part of these communities. You really are. I know you are here. And I know that CJ feels the same way. Uh, and we will help you make things work, bro. We definitely will. I promise you. We love you, Brian. No worries. Amy Danielle, great to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Minnesota. I, oh, I understand, Andy. No problem. No, my problem. I didn't see it clearly. I don't have my glasses on. I should. No worries, my friend. Oh, uh, you're good. I'm just stating the facts, buddy. I'm just telling the truth, North Carolina. Mountain man's in a house. Good to see you. I don't like to tell fibs, so I will just telling the truth, uh, Brian. That, that's how we really do feel about you. And I think everybody in the community feels the same way. I really do. I really do. Wheezy, what's up, Dolphin 517? Thanks for joining me today. Good to have you here. Judith Arrington, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Canadian True Crime Buff, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. <clears throat> All right, we got 78 people in here with 31 likes. Please, 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 everybody try to make it match so we can get on that algorithm. This is an important conversation. Everybody needs to hear this, not just us. And we got to get that word out there somehow or another. And the only way to do it is to get out in that stupid algorithm that we have to get into. We got to get up to at least 100 likes, folks. So good afternoon, Miss Charlotte. Good to see you. All right. All right. You're going up a little bit. 86 people. Wait here just a few minutes. I hope you're all having a great start to your well. Great afternoon at this point. Again, my apologies. I'm a little behind. We had a little technical issue today that I, I we got it handled. We got it running. And here we are. Having family time like we should every day with all my awesome meatballs. Spilling a little sauce together. Thank you, Miss Dawn. I appreciate that. Guys, if you will, on the way in the door, make sure you're leaving a little bit of DNA on that like button for me. Please, please, please share this out to anybody you think would be interested. And don't forget to leave me some comments after the show, if you will. Miss Annie Ruler, holla. Good to see you. Good to have you here. Thank you for joining us today. Andy Kane, I am right here, Brian. I'm right here. See? And I'm not. <laughs> Draw. Latina, good to see you, my dear. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for that as well. Dago is kind of like coffee. Okay, that's a new one. That's a new one. So wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for that, Draw. I wanted to speak with you as well. There's a few people in here. I'm working on doing a mental health show here pretty soon. Uh, the entire show is is going to be nothing but talking about mental health and all of the issues with it, so on and so forth. And draw, I would love it if you would um, grace me with your presence on the panel. If you have the time to sit in on that conversation, please. Uh, if you could, if you have the time, I would really, really appreciate that. <laughs> They go would technically be a cappuccino. Okay, danger zone. <laughs> Got to have a cup of coffee and a dago upon awakening. Well, that's good to hear, Brian. I'm glad that I can do that for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely, I'm bringing some people in to join me for this show that we're having on mental health. Um, most of you guys weren't here when I had the last one. I try to do two a year. Uh, it's a big issue. It's a big problem, and it's something that needs to be addressed, and it needs to be understood. Oh, that's wonderful, Draw. I will let you know for sure. Um, I just need to know what – I'll work it around your schedule, of course, and a few other uh, subscribers that I have in here, some amazing people that are going to be involved as well. 
<coughs> I have to set it up uh, the best I can. And just give me your available, avail uh, excuse me, availabilities, and I will try to make that work around all of you guys because uh, it's a very, very important topic and something that we need to pay attention to on a regular. Welcome, Renee. Good to see you. And I'm super excited that you're, I thank you so much, Draw. You have no idea how excited I am to have you here for that. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very sketchy topic, folks, and it needs to be addressed. It really does. And, and you know, I want to have the people that, that, that know about it to be involved with me on this. And I know you guys will support that. So I thought that would be amazing. And I'm, I'm beyond excited beyond excited uh, about that thank you so much draw fupa what is up good to see you darling thank you for joining us today and i will get back to you asap uh draw with time date everything thursday and fridays busy during the, the day monday tuesdays free most of the day okay all right then i can maybe i can set it up for this coming week then um I guess we could go with we can go with Monday uh, during the day uh, between twelve about twelve fifteen I would say if that's available to you draw and then I can try to work everybody else around that time if that's the case then we can do that that's perfect that would be perfect I would love it every evening and weekends free okay gotcha uh, are you available Monday? per se about 12 15 draw it might it might take a couple hours but you don't have to stay on the whole time monday 12 noon oh right bingo there it is there it is we are locked in stone thank you so much for that i appreciate you so very much i got a few other people i gotta try to get in there on that too as well um where is she is she in here is she in here is miss heather in here yet maybe not maybe not uh, I'd like to add her into that as well. Mental Health Monday. That's my thought, my, uh, Brian. That is my thought as well. Whoa. Well, that's not a good thing, Andy. And I mean, of course we're going to do that. But you need to reach out in other ways too, buddy. And I will have numbers here. Uh, and, and resources to help everybody uh, that, that may need to use that, that may know somebody that needs that. And I'll have that applicable to you guys as well that day um, to look at. Willie, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Thank you for joining us today. Roll Tide Roll. That's right, brother. That's right. Um, That day, I could absolutely do that. Uh, if you have, if you have StreamYards, um, there's a way that you can, um, when you're on StreamYards with me, you can click up in the right-hand corner and it will say stream to your audience and you can absolutely, absolutely stream it as well, draw. <coughs> Excuse me. That'd be a great thing too. That would be perfect. Uh, once you're on StreamYard, okay, up in the right-hand corner, um, There'll be a blue little square box that says stream to your um, your audience. You'll just click that and it will take you right into your audience as well. Welcome, Jessica. Good to see you. And then we can run it that same way. You can do it that same way that day. Very neat. Me and CJ are actually going to be doing a stream like that here pretty soon, too. Thank you for joining us, Jessica. I appreciate you so very much. Oh, absolutely, Skittles. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, if you guys ever want to, um, especially like if you're on a panel with me or something like that, and you want to stream what I'm streaming out to your audiences, for you people, for those of you that have your own channels, please feel free. Let me know ahead of time so I know what's going on. But please feel free to do that. Absolutely. Please, please do. Chuck, baby's in the house. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. All right, we're 106 people in here, folks. We got 63 likes. Let's get it up there. Let's get out there. StreamYard runs. Um, you can get it for free. 
Um, but with the free version of it, Brian, you only get just a few little things. Uh, I think you can have maybe one or two people on the panel. Um, uh, yeah, I think that is how that works. Draw if that happens. I think they go to the main, the main creator, and then it's whatever you want to do with that. Yeah. So yes, that's how that works. Uh, it's free. Um, okay, there you go. Skittles is saying it. It's free for a month, and then after that, it's twenty five dollars a month if you want to use that plan, which is the one that I use. Me and CJ are on the twenty eight dollar plan. Absolutely, draw. Absolutely. I'm so super excited for this. I can't wait. It's something that, like I said, the last one I did, it's been more than six months. It's been a while now, but it's something important that I have a very strong belief in uh, that needs attention. It needs a lot of attention, guys. A whole lot of attention. I'm sorry. Um, they've, they've closed down around where I'm at a lot of the mental health facilities that housed in-house um, patients. And I think that's where a lot of the problems are. It's not getting the attention that it used to get and, and it needs a lot more and there's so many things that are happening nowadays in our world and i think this is one of the main reasons why these things are happening because there is no uh a solid mental health uh plan in place for people i'm so tired of seeing people walking around in the streets of the areas that i live in that are lost in life they don't have anyone they don't have the support that they deserve and they need to get through their daily lives and deal with the things that they deal with. And it just, it eats me up. It really does you guys. And it's sad. Um, and, and I, I think that <clears throat> us as a whole, if we can reach out, you know, to, 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 to somebody to make them see this, to talk about it, to help with this, um, something's got to happen. Something's going to happen, you know, and, and that's why I want to do this absolutely draw anything you want to email me whatever absolutely absolutely i would love that um let me see if we can get the all right there is my email right there in the chat draw anything you would love to send to me if you if you have the time please feel free i would love it i would absolutely love it and we're going to be talking about multiple scenarios, guys. Uh, PTSD, uh, anxiety, social interaction, um, anything you can think of, I'm going to try to throw it in. We may have to break it up into two episodes. That's fine with me. I don't mind that because it's that much of an important topic to me. Okay. Um, and, and it's so bad. It is so bad right now that it just needs to be addressed on a regular basis. So uh, it's something I'm going to start doing probably more than twice a year now um because it's something i've been seeing all over the place although you have to understand a lot of these we deal with all these mass shootings and and school shootings and all these horrible 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 things we see it's all based on mental mental health awareness um not being there anymore and 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 the issues with it we have we have we have war vets that are sleeping on the sidewalks outside the white house in washington sleeping on sidewalks outside of different places here and there. There's hospitals that are just booting people out of the hospital that need help because of their insurance and things like that. It's so disheartening, folks. And we need to talk about it. We need to know about it. And we need to spread the word. So that's why we do this. And that's why we're going to do this. And I appreciate the support from all of you guys. Everybody seems to be into this. And I'm, I'm like, I love this. Stevie Irwin, my brother, thank you so very much for being here. Um, buddy, and uh, thank you for that. And by the way, Stevie, I wanted to give you a little bit of props. You did a video that you had put out that Brian brought into CJ's chat last night that we were viewing. Stevie, that was great. You did an amazing job on that, my friend. Uh, and you do great work. So if we can have a mod, please drop Stevie's link. Guys, please go check out these links. My moderator's in here. There's quite a few of them that have their own channels. There's other people in here that have their own channels, okay? Um, they deserve the support, the same support that I get if, you know, in, in some senses more, I believe. So please, please, if you will, just go show a little bit of love. Subscribe to these channels. Show them the support that you guys show me as we support each other. That's the only way we grow. It's the only way that we can get through this out here on YouTube is to support each other, you guys. And that's that's serious. That's serious to me. Um, these These people come in here and they give their time and they help me do the things I do in here. I can't do it without them. 
okay and and you guys know that uh heather's got a channel molly's got a channel stevie's got a channel um, a lot of these moderators have channels and they're not getting the views on those that they deserve so if we will please 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 show some love over there and again stevie that was great great stuff brother great stuff very proud of you <clears throat> Uh, absolutely and that's what we're going to talk about all of that amy i have a version of that folks from from working in fire and ems a, a lot of people have it and don't even realize it that's another one michelle back welcome back good to have you here good to see you there we go there is the link for stevie's uh channel guys stevie irwin's true crime Jun jungle i love that by the way buddy i do please go check that out go see go show some love over there and show the appreciation that he deserves for what he does because he does very, very, very great work. He's very talented. And I'm very proud to have him as part of this team. So once again, thank you, buddy. Uh, you are appreciated, brother. Um, and anybody in here, okay, moderators, please, especially if you have a channel, please feel free to drop your links in here. Uh, they need to be seen. You guys deserve that. You guys do some very, very good stuff. Molly does some amazing stuff. Heather, Heather's working on hers. Whenever she has the time, she does amazing stuff. Mama Bear has a channel. She's working on that. I mean, we, we got to get this out here, guys. We got to support each other and we got to help each other grow. <clears throat> so. Who are we talking to? Thank you, Michael. All of you guys, thank you very much. Exactly, Brian. He's very good at it. It's very creative, and his editing skills and music cue work. They're, right. They're they're great. You do great stuff. You really do, Stevie. Carol M., thank you. All right, guys. We got 118 people, 68 likes. They're still not matching. Let's do it. Let's do it. Not that, Nikki. Thank you so much. Danger Zone. There we go. That's it right there. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Much deserved. Absolutely. I I have it too, hon. I know. That's why I want to talk about it so bad. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Striker first. I understand. Good to see you too, hon. Thank you for joining us. Happy Tuesday to you. Almost there. We got 123 people in here. 74. We're getting there. We're getting there. If we can break that algorithm, I will jump right into this, guys. We got some stuff to look at for real. Um, It depends on what you need, Willie. Um, when I first started off, I had a really crappy laptop. And it, I, the quality was not that great. In my opinion, it's still not that great because I don't have the best equipment. Um, my monitors are the biggest issue right now but <clears throat> we all know how that goes and these things are expensive you guys i didn't think they were that expensive but they are um but you have to have you know however you want to do it you can stream live from your phone willie if you want to but i don't think the quality is that great um and you can't really do a whole lot of other stuff welcome carolyn good to see you dear but i ended up getting a cpu from a an old school that that used to use it just for like you know, teaching and stuff like that, uh, that a friend of mine gave to me. And I worked on it a little bit here and there, did a couple upgrades to it. It's not like a gaming computer or anything like that, but it's enough to do this. Um, it's slowly wearing itself out, though. <coughs> uh, Evie Marie, good to see you, dear. Um, and then typically, like I, you definitely, if you're going to do it like full time like this, you're going to need at least two monitors. Um, now that I'm down to the one and the, and it's only the corner of the one, it's really been hard. It's really, really, really been hard. I'll be honest with you. Um, my plan eventually is to have everything updated and so on and so forth. That way I can give you guys the absolute best quality that you deserve of the best of the best. Because that is what you guys deserve wholeheartedly. Okay. 
Absolutely no worries. 80 likes. We're getting there slowly but surely. Jojo, thank you for joining us. Good to see you. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, and then eventually you can upgrade and add different things. We're going to manifest it for you, Dago. Uh, uh, yes. Yes, I do. I have a wish list that I had put together. Uh, everybody asked me to update it. So I have a I had one that would slide on the back of my chair, but it was like this big and it was horrible. It didn't work. So <clears throat> I am, um, I had added that to my wish list too. Uh, the um, Amazon wish list, everybody said to put one together to make it work, to do this, to do that. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Stevie. Uh, Dago's Mod Squad. Love that. We got Miss Heather's channel right there. We got Jewels of All Trades. We got Molly Drake's channel right there, guys. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. Go over there. Check these channels out. Obviously, subscribe to them. Like them. Check out the stuff that's on there, guys. When you have a little extra time in between some of these streams, go check it out. I'm telling you, you're not going to you're not gonna be... Uh, you don't know what you're missing, folks. I'm telling you, it's great stuff. These people are amazing people. And I am so proud to have them on this team. I really am. Um, uh, I, it's an, it's some kind of a, it's, I have an Amazon wish list I put together and I put all the stuff that I need for my equipment on there, but I don't know how to bring it in here. I think I, somebody told me I needed to do that to bring the link in here and then I can pin it in the chat and then you guys can see how to get to it and what to do with it. Um, but yeah, there's a green screen with the thing on there. That's all going to go into my setup and I'll have better backgrounds and all that fun stuff. Absolutely, Jojo. Uh, you are one of the ones that got gifted a membership and I'm glad. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the sauce. Oh yeah, Molly's got a great channel. Molly does some really cool things over there. She's very talented. <clears throat> very, very talented. Love Molly to death. Salsa Sam, great to see you. Brandy B, the OG's in the house. Good to see you. Brady, do you know the link to the, the Amazon wish list thing at all? Or maybe Heather. Heather might be able to bring it in. Heather's not even in here. Are you in here, Heather? I don't think I saw her. Hold on a minute. Hold on one second, folks, and then we're going to get... I didn't think you did, Brandy. It's okay, honey. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to get... Let me get Heather real quick to tell me what to do, and I'll get it in here because she knows how to do all that stuff. <laughs> and I'll pin it in the chat for you guys. It's on my community page somewhere, but I don't know how to do all that stuff. Absolutely, Carol. We're great to... We're happy to have you here, too. All right, let me see here. <clears throat> Hold on a second. What's the matter, Cammy? What's that face for, dear? Absolutely, Brian. What's the matter, darling? What's that face for? You do not look happy. <clears throat> Criminal mind. Da, 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 da. Where'd it go? Criminal mind holes. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate you. Oh my lord, I'm so so sorry to hear that. I'm happy to be back too. Rough, terrible few weeks. Lost my 17-year-old best friend. My cat. It's nervous, horrendous. Oh, I'm so sorry, hon. I get it. I do. I understand that. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you, Steve. Stevie! Good stuff. Uh, I don't know. See, this is why I have these guys, because I don't know how to do all this stuff. <laughs> Alright, guys. It's pinned in the... Uh, the chat now and it should let me see something here oh yeah 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 mm 
All right. Now, some of this stuff in here, I have a couple of different versions of just because it gives you options how to pick this or that or whatever. Um, but I'm grateful for anything that anybody does. I promise you, it doesn't mean you have to pick anything or everything or all, you know what I'm saying? So any support whatsoever is beyond appreciated, guys, beyond appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you for for those of you that even just to look at this. <clears throat> I I just it blows my mind, and I thank you all so very much. And again, thank you, Cammy. Oh, that's cool how you did that. Check that out. Red, green, and white. I love that. That's really neat. You guys are super, super talented with this stuff. I'm telling you. That is awesome. I'm so sorry, Jojo. I wish you were close to me. I just, I have a cat that just had kittens. Four kittens that I'm looking to find homes for. Okay. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they're cute too. They're like this big. She took them away when she first had them up to the barn that we have. And did what she was doing with them. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she just brought them back a couple days. Uh, a couple days ago. Trisha Daly. New name. New face. Hello from Dundee, Scotland, UK. I still think he may have had friends involved in other sickening practices and thus why some evidence vanished. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Oh, interesting. Welcome, by the way, uh, from Scotland. And uh, thank you for your input. I love that, Trisha. Thank you. And Jojo, thank you so very much uh, for a super chat of the day. That is so very much appreciated. <clears throat> One second, folks. Let me get this up and rolling. And then we will be on our way to do what we need to do. I'm sorry it's taking so long. Uh, just answering a lot of questions and making things happen over here. So, like, what actually happens once at 100? It puts us out into the algorithm. And so it takes it out <coughs> from here, like, out all over the web. Okay? So, it's pretty interesting. Thank you, Brandy. Anybody that would like to join the Discord, if you're a member, um, please email Brandy. She will get you uh, the link and get you up in there and get everything running. If you want to be part of the Discord and join the rest of us in there. <clears throat> where is it where is it there we go all right thank you for that again i do so very much appreciate that welcome pamela good to see you good to have you here all right what was i doing now one second folks here we go What's up, uh, uh, Daniel? Good to see you, buddy. Thank you for joining us today. I appreciate you. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Lord. Tina, or Tina JP, is that how you say that? Welcome. Good to have you here. Good to see you. We got here. Thank you, Miss Brandy. There you go. Well, 
Violet, welcome. Good to see you. Kim Kitty, welcome, dear. Good to have you here. Mandy Joe, good to see you in here. Salsa Sam. And by the way, guys, just to say a little something, something since he's in here supporting this as we do with each other. Um, for those of you that watch Daniel's show, I don't know if you've caught the commercial he has at the end of some of his shows right now. Um, they have a little uh, Frenchie. Uh, it's a little puppy, little dog that had to have some surgery done, pretty serious surgery. Um, and he made it through the surgery, but it's quite expensive. So Daniel's running a raffle over there for a really cool uh, looking quilt. My wife wants it, actually. <coughs> um, and it's about saving uh, like pets. You know, it's really neat. His mother-in-law made it and it doesn't cost much to enter the drawing for it. But I think it's like five bucks. Uh, the details are on their community page, I do believe. Uh, for those of you that do, we'll check this uh, show out, guys. Or even if you don't, it definitely is nice to support things like this. So, guys, if you would, please go check that out. Um, it, it's really, it, you know, people do these things for me. When, when we lost Oscar, my dog, everybody jumped in together because it was expensive to have him cremated. And they kind of, uh, you know, they cash out us, this, that, and everything else to support that. So this is what we need to do for each other, folks. This is what we need to do as people, okay? Not just true crimers or I believe this, you believe that. We're people, folks. We're people. We need to help each other through these things um, and support each other through these things. So please, if you will, just go check it out. Like I said, it's five bucks. If you got an extra five bucks, a cup of coffee, whatever you want to say. It's a really cool quilt. Check it out. Seriously, I think you'll like it. Especially for those animal lovers out there. Thank you so much, Draw. I appreciate that so very much. I am super excited. I'll check those out later. Awesome. Uh, welcome, Opinionated. Good to see you. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Carolyn. She did a great job on it. She did this by hand, guys. And it's very nice quality. It really is. <clears throat> um, and the dog is the dog is beautiful. <laughs> the dog is just adorable. So, I mean, it if nothing else, you know, you guys would definitely want something and it would want people to help out with stuff like that. And I know I would. So that's why I'm supporting it through my channel as well. Um, if I had a link, I would just drop the link in here, but I don't. So, Daniel, if you have any kind of like a specific link, you're welcome to drop that link in here for that. Um, absolutely, brother. So, and I thank you all so very much for even, even thinking about it, okay? You guys are amazing. All right, folks. I'm going to get things a roll in. Thank you, uh, CJ. I appreciate that, brother. <clears throat> So again, guys, we're looking into Long Island again, and there is a new charges, folks, new charges as if this wasn't bad enough. And I, I kind of called it Bonnie Bailey. Great to see you. I kind of called this. I mean, everybody did. You know, I think we all said, you know, there's going to be more. There's going to be more. There it is right there. Thank you very much, Stevie. If you would like to donate to Nelson's medical expenses, please enter the raffle for five dollars cash app right there through the Drunk Turkey Show. The memo, please. Nelson and address and name. Any questions? Drunk Turkey Show at gmail.com. Boom. Thank you so very much for that, buddy. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. That's the link, folks. I'll leave it up there for a little bit if anybody wants to write it down. So, yes. Uh, and you can't go wrong, guys. I'm an animal lover here. Seriously. I am 100% an animal lover here. So, I haven't done it yet, but I'll be putting myself in for the drawing, too. My wife saw it. She wants it. You know how that goes. Steelers fan, good to see you. Catastrophe, great to have you here. Randall and Lori Gray, thank you for joining us. I love all these new faces. Stevie the man, Dago the man. Oh, <laughs> thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, but again, folks, this is what we need to do. We need to support each other in all aspects. If we can do it, we can do it. Okay? Period. Like I said, and I know a lot of people, Daniel and I don't always, always agree on our thoughts on the case that we've been covering. But at the end of the day, we shake hands and walk away because we respect each other 
and we're all out here for the same goal. So I don't want people thinking that way in that sense. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Um, and I appreciate it. I respect Daniel to a high level, his show and everything else guys. So let's, you know, let's support each other as people, not as true crimers, not as drama, not as this, not as that, as people. Okay. I say this all the time. We're the same brothers and sisters under the same God folks. That's all there is to it, in my opinion. So do your thing, everybody, because I know you can. Mountain Mama, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. And you can't hold the fact that he's a Steelers fan against him either. Come on now. Let's let's be nice about it, too. I mean, we all know that the Browns are better, but we can't hold that against him that he's a Steelers fan. Everybody's allowed to have one small fault, you know. That's all we can say about that one. Welcome, typically typically unique. Great to see you. No worries, Brandy, dear. You don't have to explain it, hon. No worries. Bebop. Beboop. Beboop. Sorry. Good to see you. Mary P., thank you for joining us. Listen, guys, I'll take a poll. I'll tell you what. We're not doing it today, but I'll take a poll. If you guys want to talk about aliens, you let me know, and we will talk about aliens. I'll even do it one day this week, because I have plenty to talk about with it, folks. Open mind perspective, great to see you. Uh, Lisa, thank you for joining us. <laughs> you know a few Browns that went to the Super Bowl, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> gotta love it, gotta love it. All in good fun, brother, all in good fun. Hey, we won the first game. We won the, 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 uh, uh, oh my God, I can't think. That's right, CJ, 150 or 0%. Carol M, Paralyn, Paranormal Jet Set, good to see you drunk too. Okay. I'll tell you what, let me ask this one question real quick. I'm going to, or wait a minute. Do I have to do, yeah, I do one second here. Let me do this here real fast. It's only take me a second. One second here. All right, there is a poll up. Do we talk about aliens? You guys make it your vote, and you make the show. Yes or no? <clears throat> Brian, talk about aliens. Absolutely. Well, actually, it's a, it's. I have a lot about it, guys. Steelers Spain is drunk too. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, thank you for joining us today, ma'am. Mrs. Turkey, it's great to see you in here. I appreciate you. <laughs> that's funny as hell i love it love it love it love it i get it now i see it there we go football is boring oh my god no way yes the browns and the jets played in the uh like why can't i think of this today i don't know what it is anyway they played a game um and it's usually the first game of the season at the in Canton here in Ohio. Um, and we won. That's what I was talking about. Anyway, Mudman, good to see you. 162 people. We did break that open. Hall of Fame game. Thank you, bro. Damn. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Anyway. So, yeah, we won the Hall of Fame game. I was very impressed with that. That was our third stringers, too, so. We'll see what happens this year. We got two games to go back and forth, Daniel. Maybe you'll win one and I'll win one. Maybe we'll win them both. Maybe you'll win them both. Who's, who knows? We'll see. Either way, it's going to be a good season, I hope. For both sides. What are you doing? Good job. All right. Yeah, just vote on that poll. Once I get the poll down, we're going to get started on today's stuff. 
Uh, I'd be down to do it, though, folks. I would love to do it, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let that roll. Give me one second. I'm going to grab my coffee. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that. I needed me some coffee. Open mind perspective. Thank you for joining us. And that's okay. Welcome back, Sleuthy. Good to have you here. All right. Now, moving forward. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. I went over to grab my cup of coffee real quick. Nefarious hijinks. Thank you for joining us. Catastrophe. Thank you. And where is it? Here it is. All right. So, like I said, guys, there was some new stuff that popped on the Gilgo Beach scenario. Um, and I, well, a lot of us that covered this had talked about, sorry, folks, that there was going to be more. Sadly. And there is, um, as we have seen, uh, there's, I think there's going to be a whole lot more. I was, in fact, I was talking to my mother about this this morning, and she thinks a bunch are going to come up from when he was younger, which is kind of scary. But yeah, you know, I can agree with that. So, we are able. Okay. All right. So I'm going to bring this in. I tell my boss, Shh, it's Dago time. <laughs> well, don't be doing that too often, Dakota. You don't want to be getting in trouble at work. That's right. Thank you, Stevie. For those guys of you that have not checked her out, which I know most of you probably have, please go check out the awesome and amazing Ms. Sleuthy Goosey channel is amazing, guys. She does a lot of great stuff. She's very organized, and she has the better, the best grids and 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 everything that she sets everything up like that it's amazing i love it but anyway there's a the link for it please show some love over there as well and check it out lynn gmb thank you for joining us 
All right, so moving forward, I'm sorry today was such a drag. I dragged everything out today. I didn't mean to. Uh, just a lot to talk about. Just a lot to talk about. <clears throat> Welcome. It's okay. Willow, hey, hey, good to see you. Thanks for joining us, dear. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Oops, I did it again. Every time. Two years, guys. Two years. You'd think I'd have figured this out by now, right? Nope. Okay. All right. Let's watch this first. We'll talk a little bit and move on. Yeah. Yep. Same thing my mother said when we were talking about this. She noticed she does all this stuff too, but way back guys into the 90s what's up tech that's good to see you buddy way back to the 90s so there's going to be more guys that are let's watch this and you'll see this here first but there's going to be more popping from way back then I'm, I'm telling you i'm telling you i've been saying this um what's up chains good to see you dear well we're here take your time be safe don't don't be wrecking all right uh yeah thanks that great comment to uh sleuthy thank you for that and you are on point dear as always all right let me know if you can hear it okay folks please well, to, to identify, identify fire on <laughs> as, as karen Vergata, who was 34 years, years old after one victim is identified in the Long Island serial killer case, an identification could be coming for other victims found along Gilgo Beach. We take a look at what could be coming next in the Long Island serial killer case with a retired homicide detective and a filmmaker who investigated the case. All right, before we kick off our latest episode of Sidebar, I want to thank YouGov for sponsoring this video. YouGov is the go-to side hustle for so many people. All right, it pays to give your Come valuable on. opinions. That's right. As a member, you're going to earn points for giving your actual opinion. Prime suspect in the give the death box below, and then you can to Law and Crime Sidebar podcast. I'm Anjanette Levy. We may soon learn the identities of three victims whose remains were found along Gilgo Beach on Long Island. Those remains belong to an Asian male, a woman, and her toddler child. The question that remains, do members of the Gilgo Beach Homicide Investigation Task Force believe the deaths of those three people are related to the Gilgo Four and hey, Willow. Vergata, who vanished in 1996? Just a quick recap to bring you up to speed if you haven't been following the case. Rex Huerman has pleaded not guilty to the murders of Melissa Bartholomew, Amber Costello, and Megan Waterman. Suffolk County officials say he is the prime suspect in the murder of Maureen Brainerd Barnes. Huerman insists he didn't kill the women, while officials say his DNA and cell phone evidence connects him to the crimes. Now, there are so many questions that still need to be answered in this case. For instance, why on earth did it take so long to make an arrest? The technology the DA is relying on as evidence in this case has been around for years. That includes cell phone technology, DNA evidence, and genetic genealogy. Also, could charges come soon in the murder of Maureen Brainerd Barnes? I'm sorry, Lisa. We need to discuss what could be coming next in the Gilgo Beach serial killing case are two people who know it very well. Joe Jackalone is a frequent guest here on uh, Law and Crime, and He's a retired New York Police Department sergeant, and Josh Zeman was the director and producer of The Killing Season, a very successful docuseries on A&E about the Gilgo Beach killings. Uh, Joe and Josh, thanks for coming on. We really appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks having, for having me. Josh, let's start with you. Um, I saw some stuff with you and Joe over the weekend. You had stated you think that they have indeed identified Peaches and the toddler. So bring us up to speed on, on what you know about that. Sure. Uh, you know, they've been doing a lot of uh, forensic work, uh, DNA, uh, for quite some time now, ever since the task force was uh, put together. And obviously, one of the first things you're going to look for is you're going to try to identify the unidentified who were dumped tragically along Ocean Parkway. That's going to give you numerous clues as to whether Rex is responsible for them. So we've always known that identifying these people was so important to this case. Um, it was just released that they 
found Karen, that they have identified Karen Bergada. Uh, and now we believe Beaches is going to come. We believe also that they've known this information for quite some time, but they wanted to, A, not scare away Rex Hewerman, basically by releasing this information, and then just kind of get that indictment out of the way. Do you think that Peaches is connected and the toddler to Rex Hewerman? Because, you know, we've got the Gilgo Four who were found in camouflage burlap in, a, a, you know, a smaller area. But then we have all these other bodies and remains along the longer stretch of Gilgo Beach. I mean, that's the big question. And that's one of the biggest mysteries of this case and kind of why it's so fascinating. Uh, you know, the Gilgo Beach Four, very much the same MO. Four women found all wrapped in camouflage burlap, all found intact, again, tragically, um, all taken around a certain time period. And then we have all these other um, victims, but dismembered. Um, and they're found kind of like scattered all up and down the highway around these women. The question is whether or not the MO indicates that we're dealing with one serial killer or two. You know, I've gone back and forth uh, over the years. Now, um, with some information that's come out, I do believe we're probably talking about one individual. And the reason we have two different MOs is because of time. You know, we are talking over the course of 26 years. People evolve, they get lazy, they get comfortable. So let's go back to Peaches just briefly. Um, they had been pursuing leads on Peaches since last year. I mean, these things take time. Even if you get the genetic genealogy going, you get some company like Authram Labs on board, it takes time to perform that work. So talk to me a little bit about what Mobile Police were looking into in Alabama. They were trying to lo locate certain people. Right. So it was actually kind of interesting because for those of us that follow it, you pick up on these things pretty quickly. The FBI had actually sent out a tweet uh, asking for information in regards to connection to a Long Island case. They didn't mention the actual Long Island case, but we knew that Peaches was uh, was definitely the, the case that they were referring to. So that was kind of an interesting tell uh, going back a few months ago. And we know that, uh, you know, law enforcement keeps things close to the vest, right? So we know they had a suspect in mind for the other case, like Josh said, we don't want to spook them. And th there's another, you know, situation when you're looking at the way they, they picked them up and when they picked them up, they kind of rushed that whole thing at the end to arrest them because maybe they knew something else was going to happen. Or they had some other information that maybe there was some other evidence that could have been destroyed. Um, yeah, they're saying that Shannon Gilbert is separate from this. Uh, initially, she wasn't, but at this point, they're saying that she is now. Sorry, guys. Destroyed Destroyed what have you. We'll find that all out, you know, in due time. But it's just interesting for us observers and for those of us that worked in this industry, we kind of look at some of these things as tells. And you, you just uh, you know, you just wonder what's next. And I think there's going to be a lot of things coming out in the next few weeks. Interesting. What do you think's coming out in the next few weeks, Joe? Because you're a veteran in this uh, business of solving crimes. So, so read the tea leaves for us. Tell us what you think is coming. Well, I think we're going to have the identity of uh, either all of the victims or at least, uh, you know, we're going to have peaches that's going to come out, I think, within a few weeks. And I think we're going to have Gilgo 4 wrapped up in respect to Maureen Brainerd Barnes, that charge being levied against Rex Hurman. I think they're just waiting for the DNA to come back from that. So we wait for the press conference release. I think I was kind of thought when I saw the press conference release, I thought that's what this was going to be about uh, and not about Karen Regatta because um, that was kind of a surprise for me but or a disappointment, however you want to look at it. But I think there will be another press release uh, shortly. Uh, naming Maureen Brainerd Bonds as a victim of Rex German. And then we also, we seem to forget about the Asian male in this case too. And I think that they've been working uh, diligently on that one too. And like what Josh has said before, from a law enforcement perspective, you want to try to identify who your victims are because it plays an important role in your investigation. It gives you a, a starting point. It gives you that, what we refer to as victimology, building the, the what you were doing at the time, who you were with, your friends, your family, because they might, have some clues into uh, what happened to you that day. And it's very important that we do so. I'm intrigued by the Asian male because it's only the only man that we know of found the remains found along. Right. And that's what threw me off too. And I was wondering, I don't know what anybody else thinks about this one with the Asian male. If it was like, 
something that maybe the guy caught him in the act of something maybe or maybe you know what i mean like this was definitely a different one for me um definitely a different one for me so <clears throat> and it, it could have been carolyn that's a good point uh trans male maybe you know that's a good that's a good that's a good point i didn't think of that at that point um good catch on that one carolyn um it depends too um when this one was from so anyway i'll quit interrupting but a couple, couple of things i just wanted to throw out there that this one really surprised me <clears throat> uh uh was he for sure though we don't know that uh i think carolyn is just saying maybe or wait a minute any ruler is saying was rex's profile similar to the other two profiles asian male in my opinion likely rex did not know until later that he was still intact maybe yeah tina jp says i think he was trans he was dressed oh well then there we go okay then he was dressed as a female and in in his search history included asian twink okay that i didn't know about uh see thank you sleuthy for that that puts it out there a little bit now okay so it looks like rex made a mistake on that one that's uh he could have just been a cross dresser that's true but you would think that if he was just a cross dresser that it would have been noticed okay like at some point that rex would have figured it out i would think yeah that's what they it's some it's um keywords that you can look up on like searches uh willow that'll show you different things um there's different websites that have names like that on them too very interesting um sure sleuthy if you, <laughs> if you want to send it to me dear i appreciate it um i love your paperwork it's always so perfect and and like organized one thing i'm not very good at but thank you yeah absolutely if you want to send it i would love to have it thank you the link cr good to see you maybe maybe rex was you know maybe there wasn't we don't know everything about him yet either that's the other thing so and that's thank you willow that's that's me too and that's what this is all about in here guys that's why I wanted to move into this case a couple weeks back. And then now we have this too. We're going to be doing a lot more. Oh, I just put it in the chat up there, honey. It's uh, sorry for that. Um, Mayora74 at gmail.com. If you see it up there. Right in between Carolyn Miller and not that Nikki. Thank you. I appreciate you so much, Sluthy. <clears throat> yeah, always, always. Uh, she does a great stuff, guys. Great stuff. On Gilgo Beach. I have my own kind of theories about that, but I'm wondering if they do indeed believe the Asian male is also connected to Rex Huerman, if he's found to be responsible for all of these. I mean, he's innocent until proven guilty. What's your theory uh, on the Asian male, Josh? I know what I'm kind of kicking around in my head, but I'm wondering, as somebody who's been following this for years, what you think. I mean, the Asian male is really intriguing because it doesn't fit within the victimology, right? First of all, we're talking about a transgender individual, uh, a petite Asian male wearing, wearing women's clothing. So all the other victims were found nude. Thanks, Lucy. The only victim who's found wearing clothing. And also, this was the only victim. Uh, and see, I'm wondering if he figured it out after the fact, and that's why he did not take the clothing off and stuff like that. I mean, and there's a there's a a slight chance that it's not connected, but I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. Just saying. Victim who we could tell was savagely beaten. So what does that mean? And probably, and this is you know speculation, of course, that there was awesome some rage Thank against you. this individual uh, by the killer. Um, maybe he was tricked, and that led to. Uh, this rage uh, that led to uh, a different style of MO. Um, I am intrigued because why would, if he's tricked and, and he felt like this didn't belong in his other, if you want to call it trophy garden, why he would deposit this victim there, but still he did. 
um, you know, Asian mail is, is, has been something that we've gone down the rabbit hole looking for. For those of you that aren't seeing it, Sleuthy's saying this guy's incorrect. Uh, he searched Asian twink tied up. Huh, okay, I gotcha, gotcha, okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to have to have you jump up here with me one of these days when, because uh, I'm going to be on this case regularly now, so. Absolutely, uh, Nelly, please do. Please do. Denise Totillo, good to see you. Uh, Howard Stearns, here we go. Okay. Yeah, please do. Anything you guys want to send me, please feel free to. Uh, I'm welcoming to all of it. I'd love to look at your guys' stuff. I always do. Uh, so thank you for that. Remember Hugh Grant. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely connected, you think? Okay, good deal. I will trust your thoughts on it for sure. And... I'm really intrigued as to what we're going to find about that. And that was my kind of my theory on the Asian male. What if the Asian male, if transgender um, is posing mm -hmm. as a female escort or, or what have you, I, I'm trying to choose my words carefully here and use a proper verbiage, but you know, Joe, that's what I think. Like this person responds to a call for a date and the, the John is not getting what the John thought he was ordering uh so then there is something really bad that goes down well absolutely and you know this this kind of behavior has happened before in other cases non-serial related so i mean you know i was a i worked in the detective squad in queens where we had a number of transgender people who were working in the sex trade and this this kind of behavior has happened once the person gets the in the car and then you know unfortunately they find out that this is not what they bargained for so this is something that uh, and happens in the, in the rage and the, and the fighting and the, and the beating i mean and we've had murders happen that way too so i wouldn't be a bit surprised at that but and like i think josh would agree with me too his his internet searches were kind of interesting though too where he was looking for uh the asian male twink i think it was uh the the exact uh, search yeah. for and which is what what we have here with the Asian male dressed in women's clothing found in Gilgo Beach. But but Joe, what doesn't make sense to me is that if this was a predilection, a sexual predilection, why would he then be surprised when the Asian male got in the car? And then why would that lead to the beating and uh, the individual found fully clothed? So was he surprised by this? Um, exchange was he surprised by this sex worker or was this something he had been thinking about because we know he had an internet search that said asian twink which indicates transgender definitely part of the reason that he you know he, he gets involved in this right maybe he was doing the research after the fact we don't know exactly when those searches were happening but here's another take on that yes you know if he was if he knew what he was doing it would have been a big surprise but maybe and this is probably for a psychologist after doing whatever he was doing, he felt the anger rage in himself that this is what he is, has become. And that could have maybe created that anger and that uh, outpouring of violence against this individual. You know, we don't know for sure and we won't know unless we identify who the killer is and he is willing to talk. I'm kind of wondering too, what if there's just a, a distaste or a hatred for people in the LGBTQ, you know, space, people who identify that way. Maybe there's some type of animus with that. Right. I, I think I that's don't know. One it's of the just reasons. a thought. No, 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 no. And I think it's very valid. I think that's also one of the reasons why we really want to know the dates of those internet searches. If we knew the date of when the Asian twink happened, we would have a better idea of whether this was pre or post this search. And there's also another interesting fact, and I don't think many people have touched on it, but it's something Joe and I have discussed many times. There is a lot of dismembered transgender individuals involved in the sex trade that have been found around, not necessarily Gilgo Beach, but more into New York City, Queens, et cetera. There is a number of them. So either this happens a lot or there may be another victim out there that we don't know about who might be attributed to what the individual that we're calling the Manabel Butcher. Exactly. And you always look for those companion cases. So 
when I was in cold case, specifically up in the Bronx, we had a lot of cases where we had uh, sex workers who were murdered in the Bronx, but they were then attributed to a man up in Yonkers who would come down into the Bronx and, and, and ply his trade. And he was, you know, leaving them in specific locations and eventually DNA then tied him to all those. So we know that they're working closely with New York City in a lot of different aspects in regards to this case, specifically now that they have a suspect who worked in Manhattan, close to Penn Station, where a, a couple of these women came into New York City from. So, and I, listen, I, and I think maybe down the road, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if, you, if we see the Fed step in at a certain point if this case gets larger. Uh, because there are there is a federal nexus to this, right? The, the transporting of women for a, committing a crime coming from Pennsylvania, coming from New Jersey, Maine, all these different locations. Mm -hmm. uh, you just never know. I, I do want to talk really briefly about Shannon Gilbert, uh, her case. You know, I've listened to the 911 calls. I, I've seen information about her case. I, I've talked to um, John Ray a little bit about it. Josh, what are your feelings on Shannon Gilbert's case? I mean, obviously she's she's taking off, running away from um, the home of the John, and she's knocking on doors, and then she she disappears into the night after knocking on the um, female neighbor's door. Uh, what is your feeling on that? Do you believe or hold the same opinion that Suffolk County police say that they believe this was a tragic accident and not What's necessarily that, a, not a homicide? It's that's a great question. And if it's not a homicide, it's one of the greatest coincidences in all of true crime. And I think if you spoke to Joe as an investigator, he would say there's no such thing as coincidence in, in, in crime. But the case in itself, the fact that there was a driver, the fact that uh, Brewer, the client, you, you know, there was a lot of he was known. They were both interviewed. It's really hard to say. One of the reasons that makes it so hard to say is that the police force at that time was so ineffective. So I I want the police to reinvestigate and I want this new DA to tell me that it's not connected. Once I have that, then I will be 100% sure. But at least the setup, a, a driver bringing somebody, the driver is there. Uh, Shannon has a history and this is not to blame the victim at all. She has a, a somewhat of a history of mental health issues. Uh, there were drugs that night. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I've done the investigation and it, I don't think at least it's connected to Rex Hureman nor the Manorville Butcher. But you don't have any faith in the prior investigation where they said, we interviewed PAC, we interviewed Brewer, and we determined, you know, they were in the clear or what have you. Uh, that they, they didn't, didn't do anything. I agree, Dia. Yeah you know, untoward because, you know, Pac said she took off. He went looking for her, something about her being reluctant to give him his cut, all of this yeah. stuff. I, I mean, look, Pac went back the next day, you know, with, with Alex, the boyfriend. So the, again, there's a lot to suggest that it's far different from any of the other victims. Again, was she murdered? I'm not sure. Maybe somebody gave her uh, a sedative. She no, I'm here, B. It's so good to see you too, hon. Sticks in my mind, like if she was being chased, why wouldn't she stay at Gus Coletti's house? This is the first house that she knocked on. An elderly man got up. Right. Uh, he, he, you know, he let her inside. Elderly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, invites her inside, and she doesn't go inside, but she runs and knocks on a different door. Like she's hysterical, and again, we're not blaming the victim here, but it just doesn't make sense. Uh, so I. I before I render judgment personally, um, I want to know that a competent police force has done the investigation. Joe, any thoughts on that? Well, yeah, speaking of the police investigation, right? So there's video surveillance when you try to get into the Oak Beach residence that was not secured. So we, we have a number of missteps. Plus, you know, me personally, I'd like to know who the first officer on the scene was. What did he or she do? I mean, we don't know who that the name of that individual. Because that's an important aspect of now trying to piece I agree, Iris. I do agree. So many years ago. And we know that the Suffolk County Police Department had lots of problems, as, as, as putting it lightly, right, between Burke. And then you have to look at the district attorney's office with Spoda. I mean, we have a tremendous amount of uh, <laughs> hills to climb to get over to try to even get as far as we have, which puts into perspective how well this task force has worked together in regard to putting together what they already have. So. That's kind of amazing with the with the obstacles that they faced. And, and that really opens up another question or leads to another question. 
We've had genetic genealogy for several years now. Offram, other companies like that have been have been doing this work for some time. Right. The, draw, exactly. the ball was obviously dropped somewhere along the way, Josh. I mean, these are things that could have been done a while ago, but it sounds like you had some infighting among agencies. It, it just seems like the focus truly wasn't on getting the arrest or figuring this out. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? I would call it far more than infighting. Um, Tim Simi, who was the previous DA, uh, publicly announced he went on the record saying that there was active obfuscation uh, in terms of this investigation. So I think we're dealing with something more. I think that there was, is a reason why that they did not want to investigate this case. Yes, it goes back to uh, Burke, who was the former police chief. Um, and there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of rumors going around whether he was involved. Right, that's what I had uh, said too, Slow. Sex trade um, and having relationships with sex workers. Uh, you know, I don't think he was the killer as, as some uh, people have speculated while rumors, but I think that his relationship uh, in the world of sex work and his, you know, his dealings prevented him from wanting this case to be looked at prevented him from wanting this case to be solved. So the, the, the prior DA said people were obstructing this case. People in law enforcement were obstructing the investigation. That's correct. That's correct. Now we know that Burke and Spoda were charged with obstructing justice in a different case. This is the case of a young man who went in and broke into the police chief's car unknowingly, uh, stole a bag, and in the bag was, uh, I, I forget some of the details, like whether it was a badge or a gun, but we know that there were some sex toys in there and a videotape. And again, wild speculation that it's snuff films. It's probably not snuff films, but you know, it's probably porn. And so we know that the police chief went in and, and beat the guy up to try and you know get information. So we know that they were arrested, both the police chief and the DA, and, and charged with obstructing justice in that case. So is it a far reach to suggest that they obstructed justice in this case? That's really, really, really terrible. And it, you know, a lot of people wondered for a long time if somebody in law enforcement was involved. Uh, that that was kind of a working hypothesis in, in this. So I, yeah. I, it'll be interesting to see if there maybe one or two of these sets of remains are related to somebody else. I mean, obviously, we just don't know. We have to wait and see. Yes, we have to be patient, right? So for years, many of us have been screaming that there isn't anything, anything going on with this case. There's no information coming out. And now all of a sudden we're having good news after good news, and now people are being very impatient about, well, what about this? What about that? <laughs> These things take a lot of time, and I believe they have many of the answers already. They have to be really careful about, you know, what they're doing in regards to some of this new technology. Remember, New York State is a fry state, which is uh, in regards to getting some of this new technology into a courtroom is more difficult than other states. So they have a lot of obstacles, plus the use of DNA. We've already seen that they now have to get warrants and everything else because New York State has a lot of different rules in regards, to this, in regards to this. So some states can take the DNA upon arrest. New York State has said, no, yeah, we could do that, but we're not going to do that. So there are a lot of things happening. And what we don't know is if any of those older cases, specifically the Peaches case, I'm hoping, because she was stuffed in that uh, cooler or that, that container, that there was some DNA evidence left behind there. Because, you know, you have a nice, compact location the chances of having something are very good. Remember, we didn't even know that DNA existed with the, with the women in the Gilgo Four. So they kept that pretty close to the best, and that's what uh, we're, we're counting on. Right. The cooler can so, certainly, you know, create an environment in which that would live, but also it makes me think, too, gosh, that would get really hot in the summer. So, you know, maybe if it's on clothing, I don't know. Well, also remember that, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, but uh, Peaches did have... Um, a, a blanket wrapped around her. Uh, so, uh, and numerous web sleuths have done the investigation of where that blanket may have come from. Uh, they found that you could buy it in Rockville Center, which is a mall that's not too far away from Hempstead. So I think there's a lot we may be able to find off the blanket, if not some kind of fingerprints or something inside the cooler. The interesting thing that people don't bring up, which um, I've always wondered, is the fact that Peaches 
has a child, a child that was found along Gilgo Beach. And you've got to ask yourself, you know, there was a lot of speculation early on, and people love to speculate, especially serial killer cases. We all watch on far too much TV. You know, was this the girlfriend of the killer and this illegitimate child? You know, I think we probably know that that's probably not the case. Who knows? Um, but why is a baby there? And was basically the baby somehow brought along by the sex worker? Um, we know that that tra is tragic, but we know that that happens in some cases. But if that's the case, then I wonder, how did that quote unquote deal, for lack of a better word, how did that deal go down? Did the sex worker drive to a presumed spot and the baby was in the back of the vehicle? Um, this is probably not a case of um, the defendant picking up the victim on the street, right? So it really calls into question for me, um, going back to Joe's point about victimology, how this specific and particular exchange happened. And I think it has to be that she brought the child along. That's just, that's my theory. I'm a news person, though. I'm not a detective uh, like Joe, but I guess that's my theory is that unfortunately, maybe yeah. she had to bring the child along for whatever reason. And, and we do know that that happened. We do, but what's interesting is that that changes some of the victimology of what we're going to refer to as the manner bill butch butcher victims, because the providing theory, at least when Joe and I are talking, is that he picked up these individuals on the street. You know, this is pre uh, pre back page, pre Craigslist. We're talking ninety six. You know, sure, some of them may have been early adopters. Uh, that really became prevalent, the whole back page or the whole advertising mm -hmm. on the internet became prevalent in the 2000s. But, you know, this was maybe one of them which wasn't uh, picked up on the street. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to add that, that you think is important that I haven't touched upon or... What, one thing I will tell you is that when we did our series, The Killing Season, we went into that marsh. And a lot of people speculate, you know, without having actually been there and understanding uh, the topography of the marsh and anything. We went in there, I was fully clothed with gear and gloves, and I tried to go to the highway. I, the, the idea is that maybe Shannon had seen the lights and she ran towards, the, towards those lights, thinking that they led to the highway, but it was through a marsh. And I tried to get through to the highway and, and right at the edge of the highway was was a huge wall of brambles. It must have been six feet high and three feet thick. I could not get through. So it was amazing. She's trying to get through. She's, you know, a lot of her clothes had been shed um, at that time. Maybe hypothermia was setting in, which is an interesting kind of illogical thing that happens that people end up taking off their clothes in hypothermia. Um, so to me, I, I can understand how she could not get to the highway and why her body would be found kind of 30 to 40 feet away from the highway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she definitely was out of it in that 911 call. Yeah. Uh, well, Joe Jackalone and Josh Zeman, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having us. And that's. Sorry, guys. And there it is, folks. There it is. <clears throat> um, let me give this to you guys here real quick. Some of you guys didn't see or hear this. Um, one second, guys. Oh my lord. What the heck did I just do? Somebody type Shannon's last name in chat for me real fast, please. Uh, there's more coming, folks. Don't worry. Sober Turkey. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. Uh, real quick. 
end the poll real quick. Thank you. I thought that's how it was spelled. I don't know what the heck the problem was. Thank you, though. I don't know why it, it must have. I thought that's how I spelled it. But OK, real quick on the poll, I had asked, you know, some people were talking about aliens. And I asked if you guys wanted me to talk about some here uh, this week. Uh, I got 60% said yes, 39% said no. So I guess we're going to have a show on aliens, folks. I want to believe. Um, but moving forward, that will be uh, coming along this week here soon. <clears throat> and thank you for your input, folks. Awesome. You've seen one when you were little. Well, damn, Miss Amy. I should have you come on panel and talk about that because that's definitely interesting to me. Definitely. Uh, yes, Dago Duchovny. That's me. That was my favorite show. My family could not stand how many episodes of the X-Files I made them watch. Um, but I did. Um, I actually, at some point, owned the entire set. So, yeah, guys, love the X-Files. Unsolved Mysteries and the X-Files are the two best shows that were ever made, in my opinion. So, anyway. Moving forward. All right, guys, I skipped the ads for you guys so you don't have to see them. I hope they weren't uh, driving you guys insane. All right, I'm going to give you guys this to hear real quick. Some of you guys didn't see or hear this. Um... All right. <clears throat> this is just definitely a trigger warning. Uh, I have it rolling across the bottom for this for sure. For those of you that may not be comfortable with this, I want to give you a heads up on this. This is these are 911 calls. OK, some of you guys were stating that you didn't get to see or hear this. I'm going to give you the option to hear it. OK, uh, so I'm giving you guys a heads up for those of you that don't want to hear this. OK. Um, if anybody has issue with this or could have issue with this, please, please, if you will, step out now. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, and then you can jump back in. I just don't want anybody to get upset, that's all. <clears throat> all right, here we go. I'm, I'm Detective, Detective Lieutenant, Lieutenant Kevin Byer, Byer the, the commanding officer of the Suffolk County Police Homicide Section. section. This, this video was made to explain the circumstances surrounding the three 9 -mil um this one was stated that i had the full call i i don't know if it has that one or not uh this is 34 minutes i think sleuth um i mean if you have the other one oh okay well if you have that other one you can send it to me this is the, the only full call that i could find who do you who has the actual full call sleuth? Because I looked around for a while for it and I couldn't find any more than this. Especially now with the neighbors too. So yeah, if you have the rat the, the like the full thing, I would love that. And if you want to send it, that's awesome. Thank you. <clears throat> I absolutely appreciate that. Give me a second, guys, to get this. There's a lot a lot of people were saying they never saw or heard this and i was just like it's be ready okay because it's kind of disturbing it depends on how you take these things some people say it's not that big of a deal some people say they don't care blah 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 and then after they hear it then they're a little affected a little bit affected by it so i just want to give you guys a heads up on it that's all that is all uh, okay let's see here All right, hold on. Now, I still don't think that she is attached to this at this point. You can just drop it in the... I'll tell you what, Sleuthy, let's make it easier. You don't have to come on panel. You don't have to come on panel at all. But here's what I'll do. Hold on a minute. All right, I'm going to invite you as if you're coming on panel, okay? You just come backstage... 
and then you're able to drop it in the private chat. There you go. There's the link. Click the link, and then you'll sit backstage, and then you can put it in the private chat. And then I can just open it up that way. It'll be easier on you. And again, thank you for that, hon. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, Nelly. I appreciate that, too. Yeah, I won't let you put it in the regular chat, which is weird to me, but there we go. And like I said, you don't have to come up here, but you're welcome to. Of course, you know that. You can just drop it in the private chat there and we'll be good. There it is. All right. Thank you, dear. I appreciate you so, so, so very much. <clears throat> All right, guys. This will be the real deal thing. One second. Yes. Awesome teamwork. Thanks, Sleuth. Uh, if you want to come up here, let me know and I'll pull you up here. It's no problem. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, she's gone already. Okay, good deal. One moment, guys. Let's share this over here. Again, trigger warning just in case, folks. I don't want anybody to get upset. Oh, okay, Sleuth. Thanks, Hein. Awesome, Nelly. Thank you. Um, you're welcome to jump up here if you'd like to join me today with this. Is that what you're doing here? Yeah, hi. Hey. Hi, very good. Oh, okay, hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I just sent you an email. Um, is it Mayoral 74? Yes, ma'am. M-A-Y-O-R-A-S-7-4. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I did May Mayoral 74 at gmail.com. I sent you a clip of somebody walking behind a documentary um that was the craigslist killer please have a look uh, um i swear it's him i swear i i started looking into this case because um it was the police corruption that caught my eye because yes. of idaho 4 absolutely and then I came across, I seriously was just chilling on a Friday and I found this 2011 documentary. And in the background, there's this huge hulk of a guy walking along exactly opposite where the four bodies were found with this bag that looks like a binocular bag. And you can kind of see his hair sticking out the back. And I was just like, whoa, is that Rex human? You're kidding me. No, I'm not. And I put it on wow. my own channel and I sent it to a couple of people who were like, well, you know, we can't tell how tall he is, or whatever. But I had a load of feedback of people saying, oh, my God, it really does look like him. Wow. And I would love you to just play it just to see what people yeah. think. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, is, that what, is that what you is that what you sent me? Yeah, I sent you the link. And I will, I, right after I play uh, Shannon's 911 call, we'll look right at that if you want to hang yeah, out Yeah, yeah, please do. And I've done loads of research into this. And I tell you now, I put my money on it. There's a ring of them. There's a okay. whole ring of them. Why would the police chief bury this case? Good point. Yes, why? Why? That's my question. Um, because his girlfriend was a worker who had a baby by him and actually right. there was another worker who was running an operation from his property i've looked into it all he was wow. bent as, as bent as a copper can be well, um, you are you are more than welcome nelly to be my assistant on this and work yes this right i'd along love to you. be thank you dago i would love Absolutely. to be i really spent hours looking into it yes i um, i appreciate that it'll help us along and we'll have anything you. we need sure you are welcome to join me throughout uh, this. i'm always happy to be here you're my you're in my recommended channels on my channel <laughs> well, thank you for that so very much and we love yeah, you very you're welcome. Well. that'll be that'll be great it'll be great to have your help with this i appreciate you yeah yeah, I've done tons of work on it because I, t I tell you what, Dago, what got me into it was, you know, Rex, 
Cumin yes. kept popping up on my timeline. I'm I'm investigating the Idaho Four like we all are. And right. then I thought, you know what, let's have a look into this. And mm -hmm. do you know what caught my attention was the police corruption? Yes, yes. Same and, here. Yeah. That was and, because of the fact that we've been working on Idaho. I you yes. know. Yeah, exactly that. And I thought, why why are people so adverse to thinking that police corruption doesn't happen and and i think the gilgo beach murders is the biggest example of the worst kind of police corruption there is i agree i agree and then you know the da and all of that it's just yes. like yes yeah who, who do you trust you know and that's the scary thing with this it really is and it really bugs me um which that, that's what caught my definitely caught my eye on this too because we've already seen corruption going on in other cases in our opinions at least and yeah. now we have this too so yeah that's what brought me into it too um okay. i agree so and i appreciate i'm gonna i appreciate now and will appreciate all your help nelly with this i oh, really do you, no, I, 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 I love uh involving <laughs> yes and i love involving you guys in this as much as i can and i love to do these things like this so thank you uh and everything hey mom bear how are you um good to see you rollo mata good to see you as well but let's go ahead with this guys again trigger warning and then we will look at the what uh nelly brought in for us to check out and move on from there right hello hello Hold on, guys. I want to make sure the audio is as good as it can be for you. Hold on one second. You might want to turn it up a little here and there, but I think it's going to be okay. All this right. makes me so sad. Well, you dialed oh, I agree. This is this is very, very sad and disheartening. It's very, very bad. So. Into the 911 system. How can I assist you? Hello? Yeah. Do you need the police? Yeah. Where? That's good. Where? Who's there with you? Hello? Uh, What's going on? Hello, there's three What? Somebody is harassing you? After me. Who? Oh. Is Trace our in? Let me talk to him. Who's Trace our in? Let me talk to him. I'm at the Jones Beach. You're at Jones Beach? I'm the Jones Beach. All right, let me connect you to state police. Stay on the line. Why? You got to talk louder to them. Why? Why? State police, Trooper Fry. State police. Yeah, there's somebody asking me. I'm sorry? There's somebody asking me. Where are you? There's somebody asking me. Okay, where are you? There's somebody asking me. Where are you, ma'am? I don't know. Are you driving right now? No, I'm inside the house. I'm sorry? I'm inside the house. What house? I don't know. Can you trace where I am? I'm sorry? Can you trace where I am? No, I can't. What's your callback number you're calling from? Huh? What phone number are you calling from? What is that for? Please. Are you in Suffolk County or Nassau County? Um, I'm in Long Island. Where on Long Island are you? No. 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 No, stop. No. Where in Long Island are you? In Suffolk County? Nassau County? 
This is so Why? sad to me. Why? No, that's not Rex's voice. County, are you on the line? That's Brewer's voice. What'd you say, hon? That's Brewer's voice. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's definitely not Rex, guys. But she's saying that's Brewer's voice. This is this is very, yeah, I agree. Heartbreaking, Heather. It's sad. So yeah, sad. Very sad. Like, I want to help her myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I that's why I have the trigger warnings up, guys. I know it's it's definitely a trigger, but it's something that a lot of people haven't heard and need to hear to understand. Yes, uh, Joseph Brewer and Michael Pack in the background, as Lizzie's saying. And it's just disgusting to me. Disgusting. I'm sorry. Why? Again, if this if this is triggering anyone, please step out just for a few minutes while we get through this, and then you can come back in, guys. Why? Why do you have to do this to me? Doing what, this. What county are you in, ma'am? Doing this. Why are you calling me by my name? Please. No, please. No. No, stop it, please. Stop it, please. Please stop it. Please stop it. No. 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 Please stop it. So you can hear in the background the one guy say Mike. Um, so just so you guys know, and I'm sorry again uh, for those of you that didn't want to hear this. Like I said, you're welcome to step out and step back in just in a few minutes. But it is it's very, bit very very rough to hear sometimes. Please take my time to let you guys. I'm in the middle of water. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Why? 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 Why?
can give them Yes, V. She has 911 on the line. Stop it, Craig. Hello? Stop it. Stop it, Mike. Hello, where are you? Huh? Where are you? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Shannon Gilbert. Where are you? 
I buy um I don't know what I want. And what's what's wrong? Huh? What happened? These people are trying to kill me. Where are you? What's your address? What's your address? What's your address? No, oh, wait, wait, stop, wait, here. Wait, stop. Wait, stop, wait. Wait, stop. Where are you? Wait, wait, stop it. Wait, stop it. What's your name, Shannon? Huh? What's wait, your... wait, stop. I'm here. Where are you? What's your address? I always did wonder too with this is why the 911 operator sounds like she's high or something. It's like not professional, not nothing. It bothered me. The whole thing bothered me. Yes. I can, I can fill you in guys after this is finished. Uh, I've done a lot of research and, and actually the, the 911 uh, dispatch could not trace her because she was on a cell and, right. po and possibly a burner. So they don't have that technology. If if you dial yeah. from a landline, they they can get you. Um, and to be fair on them, I know they weren't the most sympathetic, but right, but she was giving nothing. She was giving nothing I other agree. than she was on Long Island, but um, they were right. They couldn't trace her. They couldn't trace her because she was probably on a burner cell. Well, in 96, I would say, I mean. She was off her face, without a doubt. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know about being on that type of a phone in 96. I'm trying to think when. Because 96, this isn't. that. Well, that wasn't. When. What year was this exactly when this went down again? So this would have... 2010. Oh, 2010. There 2010. It is. Yeah, that's May. Right. May 1st, 2010. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I didn't know what you guys were saying in 96. Um, this call was not from that. You guys are confusing. You confused me for a minute. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's... 2010. It's that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know. I thought they were talking about something else with the 96 thing. That's why I was like, what do you mean? Wait a minute. In 96, they didn't have phones and stuff like this. So, yeah. But, yeah, in 2010, definitely. It, it could have definitely been a burner phone. I can agree with that. Um, but I still, I'm still, i still a little bit disheartened by the, the reaction. Yeah. Yeah. But was that the end of the call then, Dago? Was that? Wait a second. Hold on a minute here. Let me check something here. Let me look into something here. They found her. Her body was found in 2010, right? I I uh, heard it was 20 months after the other three were found. Okay. But I've, I've seen other... Yeah, um, yeah, I have notes on this, and I don't have them pulled up, and I'm trying to remember, because I don't want to misinform you guys of anything. One second. Let me check something here real quick. Okay, yeah, I have to find this. It was May 1st of 2010 is when the yeah, 9 yeah. went yeah. through. Okay, my apologies, my apologies. No, that's okay. Um, I, I did a ton of research on this, and um, I just really feel it's it's all about coincidence and what isn't coincidence um, mm. for, me, for me. And Shannon Gilbert was running for her life. There's 911 
um, audio of her screaming and running away from someone. And oh, I, yeah. You know, she's she is too scared to set, stay inside and she's too scared to go outside. And have you looked into Dr. Peter Hackett? Um, I have a little bit. I haven't had time to like really dig dig on it, but I wanted to start digging on as much oh of this as I can. Oh my god! You know, I I I know it sounds a little bit over the top, but when she's running, she doesn't know whether to go outside or Thank stay you, inside. Right. And then she run. You can hear it, it's the most to me. It's the worst nine one one call I've ever heard because she doesn't know whether to stay indoors, go outside, and then she pegs it. Mm -hmm. This is what gets me. She knocks on. Um, oh God, what's his name? The old guy. Um, she knocks on his door first. Mm -hmm. It come to me, and law enforcement tell a blatant lie they say oh he invited her in but she chose to run on he never invited her in he said um gil gil um oh god what's his name I'll, it will come to me anyway she knocks on his door and he says what are you doing don't get yourself hurt where are you going yeah he never ever says come inside. Right. And you look at the propaganda video of the of um this detective who says, Oh, well, he invited her inside and she ignored it. No, he never invited her inside. That's a complete blatant lie for a start. Right, right. And then she goes running on to this Barbara Brennan. And I completely get where Barbara Brennan is coming from. She's got an elderly mum indoors. She's got someone knocking on her door. But she does do the right thing and calls 911. And 911 answer. And she says, I'm not answering the door. Um, I've got an elderly mum. Um, but there's a lady who needs help. Now, Gus, right. Colletti, Gus Coletti, that's that's the other Gus guy. Colletti, yeah, and real yeah. quick for those of you, like I said, this call was May 1st of 2010. Her body was found on uh, December 13th of 2011. I had to find my notebook to get the actual date. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, so nobody's Coletti, confused. I want you to know that. Well, Gus Coletti used to live where Rex Human lived. He lived there for years and then moved. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was formed. See, that I didn't know. That's interesting. Yeah, Massapequa. He's a resident of Massapequa. Um, I looked into that. And there was something about that call. I felt, and this is just my opinion, I felt this young girl, Gus Coletti, said, I think she was 14. So isn't that the build of the girl that the Gilgo Beach Killer likes? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah. yeah makes a lot of sense. It so really does. This was, oh, I, I think you listen to the rest of the 911 call. He says, I think she's about 14. There's a black SUV following her. So you're you really you're leaning in the direction that you think that Rex is involved. Yeah, I do think Rex is involved, but I think I more are so. involved. I thought so too. Um, the first time I covered this case, when I first started it, I had read a lot about that and a lot about her, and I was like, I really thought he was involved. But they're demanding that, or not demanding, but you know what I mean. They're really stating that he's not this time, and I'm like, it doesn't make sense though. It really does make sense for him to be involved to me. And that's my thought on it. But well, what I'm thinking, Dago, is there's a ring of them. I'm sorry. I think there's a whole Long Island ring of them. Mm -hmm. And I think because you look at James Burke. Oh, yeah. He was made chief of police. Oh, my God. Days after Gilbert's remains were found. Yep. And days, literally like three days. Yeah, three days after her remains were found. And he is, uh, John Ray interviewed a sex worker. Mm -hmm. 
uh, who verified he partied there. Right. Why would the chief of police try and hide what was going on on Long Island? Why would he block the FBI? Why would he block other police forces involved? Why Judge. would the chief of police, who actually has a child with a sex worker... Right, right. He actually has a child with one who lived with him. Also, he was caught having sex with a sex worker in his cop car yep yep and it was all just shoved under the rug it's disgusting it's all it's disgusting. absolutely disgusting it's all about the, the power play that these guys yeah. have because of who they yeah. are and, and it comes down mikey just said it power and money it comes down to the money and the power and that's it that's what it's all about yeah. it's always been yeah. about that too and it's disgusting and it goes uh, on all also, over the place everywhere and also, why would James Burke, he was made police chief, I think, as you said, days after Shannon Gilbert's body was found. Right. So then he was promoted to police chief. And then you've got Thomas, is it Spota, Spota, who was the... Spota, Spota, yeah. Now, James Burke was a small child who was there when a kid got killed. Right. And right. so Thomas Spotter or Spotter is building him up, building him up. He is found in a cop car with a S worker. Mm -hmm. And it's all brushed under the carpet. It is. I, all... Daisy, I don't I don't believe that Rex is taking a fall for anybody. I think Rex is just as involved as anybody else. Yeah, absolutely. So I he's do not taking a fall by any means. My and you'll see that. We're going head first all through this whole case, guys. But it's Diego, have you seen my email to you where I think it's Rex walking the not, No, not yet. And I promise oh. you, once we get through this, I'm going to pull it up next and we're going to look at that too. Okay, okay, cool. Because I swear it's him. Now, what I think, and this is purely theory, right. I think there was a big old ring going on on Long Island. Okay. You look at Shannon Gilbert, right? I yeah. think. Why was she suddenly scared? This was her profession. Why was she suddenly frightened? There is 911 call where she's screaming and running. Mm -hmm. What? Then she's found beyond P uh, Dr. Peter Hackett's residence. Yeah. yeah, right. It felt like Rosemary's Baby to me. You know that film where you're like, wherever you run, there's nowhere that's safe. And that's how it felt to me. Yeah, I get it. That's I just my opinion. That's just yeah. my opinion. But um, I can understand. Let's move I, forward. With, let's get through the rest of this. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Sorry, this is horrible, and I want to get through this as fast as we can. And we're gonna we'll check out that video you sent me and see what everybody thinks on that as well. So thank you for that, by the way, and thank you for being here with me. No, you're welcome. I I just um like I said, just quickly, I only got into it because you know when you look into the Idaho Four, the you corruption. Think, Right. Am I, yeah. Am I completely over the top thinking corruption? And no, not at all. This, you see not this and you think, oh my God, there's corruption everywhere. Yes, ma'am. I agree. I agree. All right, guys, let's go forward with this. And again, another keep, you know, for those of you who are not into this, you can't handle this. I understand. You can step out for a little bit here. We're almost done with it. Hello. Yeah, one of them that I know he's going to the address. What are we going to call him? Tell him something. Mike, stop it. You guys are finding something. Mike, where are you? Mike. Are you in the house? Yeah. Mike, what? stop it. What town are you in? We're Long Island. Mike is... Where? Stop, Mike. Where in Long Island? Stop it, Mike. Mike, stop it. Mike, stop it. Where in Long Island are you? Hello. Hello.
Where in Long Island are you? I don't know. They're going to kill me. Are you in a house? Are you in a house? Yeah. Whose house is it? I don't know. Who is Mike? What's his last name? Mike what? How old are you? What's his last name? What's his last name? What's his last name? Shannon. 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 Shannon, what town? What town are you in? Hello. What's Mike's last name? Hello. Where are you? One L three four four the Allen service. Where are you, Shannon? Shannon. Shannon. He's running right now, if you guys can't tell that. My G08 is one of the most expensive, I think. Did you call that one? That's what tells you she's scared. She's running in heels, too. She's knocking on somebody's door right now.
they couldn't trace the call, uh, Charlotte. That's the problem. What part did you want to hear again, Chains? Which part? I know, again, guys, this is hard to listen to. It's very important to hear it in some senses, though, because it tells a story by itself, all by itself. This entire thing tells its own story completely, and it tells you who's involved in this part of this. And again, uh, Nelly uh, and and as well as I still feel in some sense that that she very possibly is involved with Harriman. OK, with his with situation. That's what I'm saying. It's very, very hard to not think that if you look into this. Um, I actually think uh, Dago it was Hackett. Or Hackett, I'm sorry, yes. But yeah, I think I, 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 feel really, that, I really, feel that Harriman was involved with all of that too. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I think there was a whole bloody ring of them. I really do. I mean, there's um, a lot of people involved in this, in my opinion, too. I agree with you. Um, yeah. But what part did you want to hear again, Chains? The squeaky noise sounds like I I don't know. I'll I'll go back just a little bit here. One little 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 bit there. Here we go. Okay. The voices are the voices in the background, they, uh, change the ones we've been hearing the whole time. And you're hearing the radio traffic come through the 911 center as well. No, David, no. I think that's one of Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I believe this had nothing to do with Hoyerman. No, 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 no. You're right. But let I just hold on a minute. I hear radio traffic coming okay. from like a radio scanner, police radio. That is not what you hear from the 911 call. You don't hear that in a 911 center. You hear that from a police radio of some sort. That sounds like a police radio, like radio, police radio traffic 
as if you were standing near a police officer and you're getting traffic coming through. Okay, Dago, I didn't hear that. That's interesting. I never heard that before. But so, I tell you one thing: what are the chances that a sex worker is running for her life and then is found dead? Oh my God, I've never heard that, and now I hear. I know what scanner radio or radio traffic sounds like from being in the fire department it, and police traffic. It, it's all the same. That is what I was hearing was radio traffic. And it's not going to come through from the 911 center like that because they have earpieces and they talk directly through like a phone and so on and so forth. It's it, it, you're not going to hear all that other shit coming through. So it makes me feel like they're uh, if I'm right, they're very possibly could have been a police officer there in during this situation. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now, no, no, no. It doesn't matter, Daisy. It's not going to come through like that. It's not, not going to come right. through like that, Daisy. I, You're I, not going to hear would, it. I tell you now, I would put my lifetime savings on the fact Rex Hewerman, Howerman, Hewerman, had nothing to do with Shannon Gilbert's death. I do not believe he had anything to do with her death. I think he had something Personally, to do with right. Yeah. I, I swear he is involved and had something to do with the other deaths. I'm telling you now, I don't think Shannon Gilbert was him. I really don't believe that. Okay. I want you guys to hear that. Tell me if you hear this this radio scanner traffic coming through as she's running. Okay. I want to hear if anybody else there, Steve, anybody else hears okay, that. Okay, let's go. Um, I have radio try. I had a scanner in my home. Yeah, that's fine. This woman's outside running, and you hear like radio traffic coming through. It's yeah, not from yeah, nine one one. Yeah. It's not from the nine one one dispatcher. It's a radio. Like, listen, folks, listen. If you have headphones, listen. I think that's one of them. My T08 is one of all the I think. Um, that's a bad thing. Okay. Oh, that's a bad thing. Did you call that one? Yeah. Oh, that's a bad thing. Oh, Lucy, I, I genuinely think that when it's a cell phone, they're fucked. Excuse my French. I think when it's a cell phone, it's a real problem. I don't think they can do it. They can. They can. They can track cell phones, but there's certain phones that they have trouble with. Yeah, there's issue. There's more issues. You know, I um. Right, but here, here, and also, um, Cal's. It could be a scanner. I understand. I know what you're saying. She's not inside anybody's house, Kel. No, she's outside. No, but I tell you what, she's bloody running for her life. Right. And she's running from somewhere else outside. She's not in anybody's house. You see what I'm saying? That's why mm -hmm. if she was inside a house, then yes, I would say I've a, got, base, I, a base yeah. scanner. That's what I have. Okay. I've, got some, I, I've done some research and there's some issues with, um, for me, sunrise and temperature. Yeah. But that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say is you can hear police traffic coming through. The dispatcher's talking to another dispatcher, catastrophe. Okay. Sitting next to her. You can hear them both conversating, but, and she has somebody on the line listening. They do that. They've always done that where they'll get two people on the call. Okay, so on and so forth. But this is what I'm hearing in the background while she's running outside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, is what sounds like police radio traffic. Okay. 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 What I'm, Tommy, listen, bro. <laughs> I know they may have had a scanner or, or whoever's chasing her may have ha may have a scanner in their hand listening for radio traffic or it's it's police radio or something like that. They have portable scanners too, but still, I'm just telling you, it sounds like, um, like radio traffic chasing with her, like going along with her is what I'm saying. 
So anyway, let um, let me see if I can hear it again. Hello. I wonder if she was in her pocket. I wonder if they felt like shit after I, they found out I'm, that she was murdered. I'm sure they did, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost wondering if she may have had a handheld scanner. Um, because they do make them where you can just buy them at Radio Shack and stuff back, you know, all of, well, not Radio Shack anymore, but and maybe she had one that way she knew if she was a, uh, a worker, you know, maybe she knew that way she would know when police were around because I've heard of that happening in the past, like that okay. around here that, that prostitutes and whatnot, sex workers, whatever you want to call it would have those that way they could watch for police to come and hear police being dispatched in the areas. But I don't understand. Like, I, I definitely hear it. I can hear the scanner. I know what it, I've worked around scanners my whole life. Okay. That's cool. I don't know that. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out, is it her carrying one? Is there somebody with her carrying one that's chasing her? Uh, because in a 911 center, it doesn't come through that way. 
they don't you don't hear any of that kind of stuff in a 911 center and the police wouldn't walk into a 911 center they're not connected like that um so I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out is who has the scanner. Because I definitely hear that. That's in the background. Well, it's amazing you can hear that. Oh, God, yeah. I know what that sounds like. It, I wouldn't I, know that I, at I all. I hear it in my sleep. Yeah, I hear it in my sleep because I'm so used to it for all the years that I was around it. Um, just well, what I hear is, is, from, um, is a, a young girl who is running for her life. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. What I'm the reason. And, and do you know what? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say the reason why I'm worried about where the scanner sound is coming from is either, you know, if it's the person that's chasing her looking out for police or if it's her having one to, you know, based on what her work is, that's okay. And, and if it's hers, but if it's the person chasing her or if it's somebody that, carries around a radio as part of their job is what I was trying to differentiate and figure mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's what I was thinking of when I first heard this. Um, so what I can't get my head around at all is that there's this very petite lady who fits humans. Um, sorry, I've just lost my screen here. Hang on, bear with, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you fine. Okay, I've, I've lost my screen, so I'm just going to go for it. Um, so what is my problem is that there's this young lady who is running for her life. And police keep saying it's an accident. And I don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I don't with. believe that either. I never have believed that. No, I'm it's not an here, accident. Here. And I don't, but I don't think it's Rex Human either. I think he has killed. I think he's committed. Sorry, excuse me. I cannot get my screen back. Anyway, I'm going to forget that. So, anyway, I think that Rex Human is guilty of some things. But I think James Burke needs looking into i mean come on he was like you know what james burke did don't you he was a child who witnessed yeah he watched Ray somebody yes killing a child right and the district attorney who got him off that was thomas spota who is still his buddy right right that is so sus uh yeah very much so i do agree with you on that for sure i'm so sorry i've lost my no, you're can't... okay you're I okay can't... i can't even get into my screen now i've lost it oh um i don't know what to say about that <laughs> no, I know. um i got just a couple minutes of this left folks and then we're going to move on to watch um Watch her video that she sent me through the email. It oh, have there. you got it? Have you got it? It should be there. I'm gonna. I'm hoping so. Hopefully. Okay. I need. Okay. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I can't even click on here. But I would love you to look it. And Dago, before you play it, will you please take into consideration these things? Right. So, I was looking at. I, I was starting to research this case, okay? So I started um, looking into YouTube and I looked at this case and I was like, oh my God, um, this is a 2011 um, uh, thing. And there was this case where there was a Rex Hoyman walking in the background. You're not there. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, we'll finish this up. I do want to see that. Shannon. 
Shannon. Shannon. That's what it sounded like. Right, let's have a code there, darling. Let's have a code. Okay, and that's 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 the call, folks. That's horrible. Thank you, Sluthy, uh, for giving me that version of it. I very much appreciate that. Very much so. Hang on. All right, guys. Now let's see if this came in here real quick. All right. One second here. Hang on, brothers. I think Jacob's going to play my. Yes, Brian. Yes, she was, Brian. Hey that guys, doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that she deserved to be unalive, though. Okay, nobody does. I don't care what the scenario is. Nobody has the right to take your life. No. So did you get my email, then, Dago? That's what I'm looking for right now. Looking for it right now. Yeah, I'm pulling it up right now. Um, Tell me. Tell me if you think that's Rex Human. Uh, hold on here. Let me see something. Okay, I got a message from you, Nelly. Uh, like a voice message, like a, a voicemail. Oh. oh, it shouldn't be a. Voice I don't have mail. a. Is it mayoral74 at gmail.com? Well, I got these from you. Here, I'll put it in my chat real quick so you can okay. see it real fast. Oh, okay. Uh, hang on, bear with. Was that private chat? No, it was in uh, in the email. I got a voicemail from you. Probably due to, you called my, my number, my Google number, and it left a voicemail. I have three of them actually, three different Google Voice things. It doesn't say any. It doesn't show me uh, the actual email itself, though, for for that other thing. But there is the the email. Okay, go ahead and do that uh, if you want to try to send it again. Give me one second here, folks. One second here. One second here.
I don't see it here. I'm still looking. Oh, she dropped off. What happened here? Uh, I think it just dropped off, Nancy. Sadly. Yeah, right. No, I, I thank you, Kim. Well, I didn't get that there, but we got that. Um, all right, guys. Um, all right, so I guess, sadly, that's going to be it for today because I got some things I got to handle real quick. Uh, I'll be uh, in CJ's tonight, and I will be here doing this tomorrow. We're going to pick up right where we left off because I can't find that email from Nelly. Uh, we're going to pick up where we left off today with this. Tomorrow, I will be on time tomorrow, folks. I promise you that. Um, but I have an appointment I had to run to. I wasn't supposed to run this late because I wasn't supposed to start this late. So thank you all for being here with me today once again. Okay, I'm looking right now, Nelly. I don't see it, hon. Hold on. Let's see if it'll roll through here. But uh, I will be doing that. Thank you, Stevie. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, and thank you to anybody that has donated to the Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App. But I will be with, I'll be jumping over there with CJ tonight because he's covering this too. And then tomorrow, uh, I'll be there live at 1215. Uh, and we're going right from this into the next part of this. And uh, now that I got Sleuthy's Google Sheet, that's awesome. It's going to help too. So much more to talk about with this, folks. I apologize. Um, Oh, gotcha, Kells. Okay. All right, guys. I love you so very much for this. Uh, again, my apologies. Like I said, um, I should have been earlier than I was. Okay. Thank you, Kim. But uh, I will see you guys here in a little while over with CJ. And I will be back here tomorrow, 1215. And we're going to pick up where we left up on this because there's so much more to go into. We covered the big part of this in the beginning, the first day I did it. That's okay, Nelly. I didn't get it yet, dear. I don't know if it's because it's coming from overseas. Uh, thank you, Sleuthy, for the spreadsheet. I did get that. I don't see it yet. Hon. I don't know why I was doing that. But again, guys, so much more that we're going to be looking into. I got another voicemail. Okay. Um, but we will cover that as well. All right, guys, love you to death. Thank you for joining me. Again, my apologies for being late today. I had a technical issue. It's all handled. We're good to go. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys later over at CJ's. And tomorrow, 1215, to pick up right where we left off. Love you guys so very much. Don't forget to love yourselves and love each other. And I will see you on the other side. Have a great day.